Well, as promised now, our final interview this morning. And joining us now is uh, Pumalo Khetsane, who is a final year law student at Wits University, who has been chosen to be part of this year's prestigious Law Without Walls program spearheaded by the University of Miami in the United States of America. Now, this program brings law students from around the world together to explore innovative ideas in the law fraternity. And Pumalo is uh, the only South African that will be attending the program in April and joins us now in studio. Thanks for coming through. Thank you for having me. Thank well, you so much. You must be very excited. I am excited. Um, it is an exciting program. Um, it's also very insightful. So we'll take it as it comes. And um, yeah. So let's talk about the program and what exactly you are most excited about because one would imagine that it, it's, it's an important um, uh, coming together of legal minds from across uh, the world. So what exactly are you looking forward to? Well, it's the innovation more than anything. Things are always changing. I mean, the first computer was the size of this studio and now it fits into our pocket. So why are students still being taught the same way? Law is changing and the ability to implement um, innovation is what really excites me. So when we talk about uh, law without walls, yes. what exactly does that program entail? It entails, it's an annual program whereby participants from all around the world come together to discuss how legal enterprises might come about in the not too near future. Mm. And, and, and looking at how that perspective has changed over the years? Um, the recent developments in technology with AI coming in, with automated systems. I mean, over 12 months in law school, you'll be taught the importance of what constitutes a contract. And then you get to the workspace and you have to develop a soft skill of automating a contract. So that's just a minute example of how things are changing in our not too everyday life. Mm. And going to uh, Miami, what exactly are you expected to contribute? Um, I would love to bridge the gap between what isn't known and what can be implemented, what can be known. I feel like law is a very powerful tool, uh, almost like a prism whereby you're able to engage in different conversations, balance the scales of justice. You can really, really enforce change with law and implementing innovation with that that's really insightful. That's really exciting. And what are you hoping to gain? Um, experience, exposure, insights, how to implement innovation within our legal space. And of course, looking at our legal space at the moment, if you look at the South African context, yes. you know, and, 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 and the sort of innovation that needs to happen, there are various challenges. So, so, so what do you think we should be focusing on in our own space right now? In South Africa, in our own space, I think the ability to bridge basically the consulting gap of listening to actually the client and what the client is saying, what the client wants, um, not necessarily just e-waste, not just using paper unnecessarily, but actually using what is at our disposal. Mm. And I like that you spoke about uh, the fourth industrial revolution yes, and artificial intelligence and incorporating that because one of uh, the problems, uh, the challenges that we face in our system is access one. Um, another one is, of course, the cost of legal uh, representation in South Africa. How do you believe that um, artificial intelligence could perhaps I'm really glad you're picture? asking. Um, there, is, there are apps like LegalMate, whereby you're able to log on to a server and understand what I need to know to evade a particular road sign when I'm stuck in this predicament, when I'm in this conundrum, how do I go about this particular instance? I think that ability to just bridge that gap of a layman logging onto the internet understanding how certain things need to be done and moving forward is is really helpful that's that for me is really exciting that's yeah that fuels me you're not worried about the impact it will have on your pocket um the money will come if you focus on helping the people i believe the money will come i for me i really want to help people it would be nice obviously to make money it financial security is a must but helping people is really, really amazing. Well, we wish you well. 
Thanks so much for stopping by and highlighting this program for us. And we'll be following uh, your progress and developments around the program. Uh, Pumulo Khitsane is a final year law student at Wits University who will be attending the annual International Law Without Walls program in America next month. And really looking forward to those innovations. And maybe he'll come back and tell us whether he has <laughs> actually uh, gained from that particular uh, engagement what he was set setting out to so hopefully we can catch up later all right let's uh, just quickly uh